शुरू करो सर हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव एंड मॉड्यूलर लेटेस्ट अब इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर कृष्णा हैज टोल्ड अबाउट व्हाट इज मीन बाय आइडेंटिटीज इन लेटेस्ट इन द सिमिलर कांसेप्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सच अ एक्सपांड द कांसेप्ट ऑफ इनइक्वालिटीज इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर for distributive and modular lattice firstly we have we will take uh, so, some lemmas and then define what is meant by distributive and modular lattice first one the le first lemma is let l be a lattice then for any x y and z in l the four conditions are four inequalities here are true for any lattice ha huh? first one x meet y join x meet z is less than or equal to x meet x meet y join z the first one second one is x join y meet z is less than or equal to x join y meet x join z the third one is x join so x meet y join y meet z join z meet x is also less than or equal to x join y meet y join z meet z join x and the fourth one is x x meet y join x meet z which is also less than equal to x meet in bracket y join x meet z in if we see all the four inequalities the left side of all the inequalities is firstly we take a meet firstly we take a meet of all the brackets and then we take a join uh, and the in right hand side we will take first join and then meet first join and then meet it is easy way to remember this inequalities and uh, this inequalities is true for all lattice or any lattice Uh, and we can prove easily one by one so first we take proof firstly what uh, we what we do we we will do some uh, some conditions or uh, some we will use some properties of lattice we we can do hum kya karenge har element ko ya har join ko isse less batayenge जो हम ये फर्स्ट एलिमेंट को इससे लेस बताएंगे हाँ फिर इसको इससे लेस बताएंगे फिर दोनों का जॉइन ले लेंगे फिर हमें ये मतलब वो अब ऑटोमेटिक मिल जाएगा क्योंकि जॉइन लेंगे भी तो सेम एलिमेंट को जॉइन सी में आ जाएगा और सेम इसी में भी हम इसको इससे लेस बताएंगे फिर इसको इससे लेस बताएंगे फिर दोनों का ज्वाइन ले लेंगे सेम कंसेप्ट हर आ, हर प्रॉपर्टी को लगाकर हम सॉल्व करेंगे तो फर्स्ट फर्स्टली एक्स मिट वाई x meet y is less than x all because infimum of these two elements is less than or equal to the element it is always true and second one x meet y is less than or equal to y it is clear huh? and then y is also less than or equal to y meet y Join Z. Then clear. Uh, we can write it as Y join Z. Therefore, taking uh, join X meet Y. Sorry, taking meet X meet uh, X meet Y is less than or equal to X meet Y join Z. The first one is clear. Any problem? No. Now, now we can. Uh, equate or we can prove inequality with this with uh, 
this element therefore x meet z uh, clearly x is less than equal to x hmm? uh, and uh, sorry x meet z no x meet z is less than x and uh, second one z is less than y join z clear y join z y join z se clear matlab wo rahega ekdam we want x meet z only na uh, x meet z x meet z x meet z less z. than or equal to y meet y join z y uh, oh yes sir so you can y. write z uh, z, z which is less than y join z z and then taking meet x meet y join and z and taking the join of these two x meet y join x meet z is less than or equal to x meet y join z first one is how is better first one is proved uh, any difficulty so far uh, then we will go for uh, proof of second one second one the idea is same we will uh, show firstly this element is less than this and second one this element is less than this and uh, then we take join of that two inequalities and then we can show easily uh, the first one x is mm, less than or equal to x uh, x join y and uh, x is less than or equal to x join z it is obvious huh? uh, therefore x uh, uh, x uh, therefore x is equal to meet less than or equal to x join y meet x join z and the second one we prove this element is less than this so how we can prove y y meet z is less than y which is less than x uh, join y clear implies this y meet z is less than equal to x meet y it is clear x join y hmm. Hmm. x join y and then y meet z is less than or equal to uh, z and which is less than or equal to x join z implies is what y meet z is less than or equal to x join z by, sim by simply taking the meet of these two we can we get y meet z y meet z is less than or equal to x join y meet x join z the second one is also proved clear okay the now we will prove third one third one is also easy x meet y x meet z and uh, x meet y y meet z and z meet x uh, can i vanish For proof of third one, firstly we take x meet y, x meet y, which is less than or equal to. We have to show this element is less than all the three elements. Hmm? We can easily prove uh, by what one by one. X. One second. It is very clear because x meet y, so it is less than or equal to x as well as less than or equal to y. So in all these three terms, either x is there or y, y is there. Is that clear? So write directly less than or equal to. X join X join Y comma or what huh. comma X meet Y no, no no Y join Z Y, y join Z Y join Z Z Z join X no, sir meet liya chana sir ha first take first write that hmm. Y join Z and Z join X Z join X next one ha uh, next one uh, Z join join X X so this one is less than or equal to each of them now take the meet so you write in there only meet okay x meet y x join y right straight now you have to chalu kar rahe aap aise upar hill matlab upar ja rahe aise ek se aur nahi do aur nahi do ek se aage se kar are from this 
we can easily written as write as x meet y x, x join, join y meet with y join z meet with z join x and similarly you know, we can prove for <coughs> this two also uh, what no, no need to write similarly Simil it is clear right it is only y so, z z x so third one follows ah, so go to fourth one which, uh, which which proves which proves third now fourth one of course you have to complete details but it is similar right hmm. so for proving fourth uh, we uh, the idea for uh, idea which which is used to uh, prove this inequality is use using this also in in this equality uh, x meet y is less than or equal to x okay it is obviously true and then x is less than or equal to <coughs> x meet uh, i think no x. you write only x meet y x meet y is less than or equal to y hmm. no if if every element is less than or equal to same element then their meet join also less than equal Is that clear? Uh, See, x meet y is less than or equal to y. Then you are joining some more element. So it is clear. There is no problem. Okay. Okay. And uske baad agar iska meet le lenge. Meet na? No? Fourth one. Yes. Second one. X, x meet, meet z. Y is less than or equal to x meet y join x meet z. Now second one. X meet z. X meet z is less than or equal to x hmm? it is clear it is obvious and x meet z is also less than or equal to y join x meet z why that okay? is true because x meet z and here x meet z it is a one element it is one element the join of this two is all uh, the, which is greater than the that element okay it is true and therefore x meet z is less than or equal to x meet <coughs> y is join x meet z okay and by taking the join of these two inequalities x meet y join x meet z is less than or equal to x meet y join x meet z only inserting the brackets of uh, that inequalities uh, the first first lemma is proved all are uh, clear uh, the next lemma is uh, about equalities and one point uh, the first three properties are called as distributive properties uh, and the last one property is called as modular property Hmm? Hmm? That the first three it is already in sets and all you know. Okay, you take intersection, then you take join. It is same as you take join, then you take intersection. Hmm. Okay. Now next lemma. Sorry, when should you write here? You write. If L be a lattice, L is a lattice, then the following three uh, inequalities or equalities are following your following are true e uh, equivalent equivalent first x meet x meet y join z is equal to x meet y join x meet z second one x join y meet z is equal to x meet y x join x join x join y meet 
X join Z. Say loud. Your voice is uh, third one. Uh, one second. Uh, X meet Y join Z is less than or equal to X meet Y join Z. X meet Y join Z. Y join Z. Sorry. Y join Z. If any one of this statement is true, then we can say that the uh, remaining two also are true for that lattice. Hmm? Uh, now we will take proof. If uh, first one is true, then uh, second one is true, first implies two and second implies three. That in that manner. So first one, first x meet. You write there one implies two. One implies two. If we prove one implies two, then by duality principle, we can easily uh, we can directly say that the second one is also uh, implies first one. Hmm? So we will prove first one, and then by duality principle, we can say easily say that this uh, these two are equivalent. Huh? So first one, uh, we have given this uh, statement. Now we will take any three element from uh, uh, let us say a comma b comma c from lattice then uh, first we have to prove for, um, from this to this so a a one second our claim is to prove this inequality x say uh, one second already this from already whatever we have proved the second one is already one side it is trivial it, we have already proved so to prove second we have to only prove that that other inequality is that clear that means x join y meet x join z is less than or equal to x join y meet z right right so uh, um, बट जैसा आप लेक्चर में लिया ना सर उस तरफ से लिया ना सर तो हमको प्रूव करना है ए ए मीट बी मीट ए मीट सॉरी जॉइन आई थिंक जॉइन सेकंड प्रूव करना है ना जॉइन मीट सी ये प्रूव करें सर इक्वल टू इज लेस देन इक्वल टू ना लेस देन इक्वल टू ए जॉइन बी because that is same only first of x y z we are taken a b c the first one is already 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 proved by this i think second one so second one ke liye ab iske liye hum kya karenge is property mein x ke aise value choose karenge jo ye property satisfy karenge so what can be chosen x equal to y equal to and z equal to by comparing this two what is the x a join b what is y a a and z is c by putting these values in this inequality uh, sir uh, identity identity uh, uh, x join b no, sorry a join b x equal to a join b meet with a join c which is equal to now x x is what a join b a join b uh, meet with y meet with a and uh, join x is a join uh, a join b meet with c okay and now uh, it is by absorption property it is a and uh, by property first hmm? it is x it is y it is z by applying this property what we can do mujhe pehle ala c a meet a join b Prop by applying the first one we get a meet c c meet a a join c meet b which is equal to 
a join by in uh, i i i can interchange the brackets because there is a join a join c so c meet a and join c meet b and which is equal to uh, it is a a joins uh, by this two, uh, absorption property it is a and it is meet with c joins b okay and that is what you are proved right we hmm. have proved our claim yes. is that clear that proves one implies two two and by the by duality two implies one and so you erase this side and write uh -huh. by duality if one implies two two also implies one therefore one if and only two therefore one is equivalent to two uh, can i vanish it you can rub Now we'll prove two implies three. What is two? Uh, X join Y meet Z is equal to X join Y meet X join Z. Then X meet Y join Z is less than or equal to X uh, X meet Y join Z. Here it is identity and it is inequality. So we have we have to use one inequality to show from two to this because uh, if we add some inequality in this then the equal relation is changed to less than or equal to our relation in other manner uh, so for that now clearly x or z is less than x meet z x meet x join z sorry x join z x is less than x join z and we have given second one so uh, we can one second sir What what you are supposed to prove, sir? So huh. From using second one, we hmm. have to prove third one. Hmm. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We, uh, in third, z uh, we will put z in z. Ah, uh, x meet y. Uh, join z, which is less than or equal to x meet y. Join x meet z. X join Z. What huh. uh, is X join Z? X join Z. Huh? So, and uh, then X meet Y. Mm, one second. Hey, property. Huh? Mm, X meet Z. Pa, isi, na? X meet Y. One second, sir. Uh, I think join and then meet. I'm going to tell you, sir. Join meet. Uh, up, there are also inequality x join y meet z. Last next right side. X join uh, right side. That meet is replaced by join. Then, X join X join Y meet Z Y meet Z yes. Yes. Sorry for inconvenience uh, X meet Y Sorry X join Y Meet Z is less than or equal to X join Y Meet X join Z By this relation huh? 
z is less than equal to x uh, x join z therefore this relation is less than this relation hmm. now by property second what is the second property this is equal to this so we can simply recognize this we can simply write this uh, equal uh, this equation as x x join y meet z x meet y uh, it is that we have to prove okay the sec, uh, third one is also proved 2 implies 3 is proved now hmm. 3 implies two, uh, 2 now 3 implies 2 for 3 implies 2 we will take uh, a comma b comma c from lattice and then uh, our claim is uh, again in second a identity a one one relation is already true a meet our claim is a meet b uh, a meet b a join b meet c is equal to a join b meet a join C. Huh? So, hum kya karenge? The prop, uh, third one property, na? Yes. Yes. One second. That's in that second in this claim, one inequality, one side it is always true. Which one? When you take join and then take the meet, it is always less than or equal to take the meet and join. Hmm. So one is already true, right? In your lemma, which one you have proved already? Huh? that x join b meet c is always less than or equal to the one is already true a join b, b meet, meet c, c is less than or equal to a join b meet is proved by is see how one can at least remember this inequality uh, inequalities if you take join then if you take meet it is still bigger is that clear first we are considering join then we are taking meet that is still bigger than when you take meet then try to join are you following now so you have to prove the reverse the inequality reverse. Uh -huh. now it is enough to prove that uh, a join b meets a join c is less than or equal to a join b meet if so the first show, one is already proved that one is already proved by lemma 1 by lemma 1 huh. so uh, we we will prove only <coughs> this uh, this inequality by our uh, second one so what can uh, we choose from uh, x y and z values of x y z to prove this uh, what we know third one is given mm. what is third one x join y meet z said okay so you will select suitable x suitable y and suitable z said. x is a y is b and z is a joins b and z is a joins a joins a join c is that clear then hmm. then by 3 what you have right by 3 you write this side a this side you write. You erase that lemma also. Statement also you can erase. By 3, x is equal to a, therefore a join b is y is b meet with z is a join c. A join c is less than or equal to a x is a join y is b meet with a join c now uh, by second one i think a join b meet a join c uh, then
हाँ ये वन अप्लाय के बी मीट ए जॉइन बी मीट सी राइट राइट नाउ विच इज लेस वन सेकेंड वन यू हेव टू प्रूव सेकेंड वन राइट वाई यू आर राइटिंग अरे यस वन सेकेंड थर्ड वन यूज कराए नहीं आई थिंक ए विच इज लेस देन धिस मतलब हम अगर ब्रैकेट्स इंटरचेंज करेंगे तो कुछ नहीं होगा उस तरह से हाँ तो B we are applying third one again to that point. Join C. Again third one, using third one. This is true. Oh, just go slow. Is that clear? No. See B meet X. B meet A join C. It is same as again X join Y meet C. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. That means what is your uh, Z? B is Z there. Are you following? And A and C are X and Y. So we are applying second time that one. So B meet A join C is same as is I mean is less than or equal to B, B meet A, A join C. C. Now here is a join. We can interchange the bracket. Therefore A meet B A join B meet A join C. And then which is less than or equal to what is the value of this by absorption property? It is A join C. One second A join. We have to prove B meet A. I think B meet A, na? A join C. A join B meet C. We have to prove, right? Hmm. Huh? A join one second here. A, you, what is, you want to we have to prove that it is a join b meet c yes sir huh? so where is your a join sir i think we have to interchange this and then we can apply third one if we interchange this bracket first you write that as a join c beat me a join c Meet B. Yeah. Yes. A join C. Meet B. Then by applying third one, A join. Now by applying this, sorry, this, A join C meet B. And uh, by interchanging, it's A join C meet B. A join C. A join C meet B or B meet C. I we can. Hmm. A join B meet C easily we can say that and therefore from this and from this we can say that this is equal okay okay sir now this impl this uh, this implies second okay the proof is clear uh, clear जाल में से तो मैं पर्याय explain कर दो क्लियर है ना इट इज क्लियर हाँ नाउ अनखिने क्लेमा है रिसरल इनिक्वेलिटीज हाउ वी सेलेक्ट दोस एलिमेंट्स दैट इज द ओनली थिंग ओके क्लेमा Let L be a lattice. L be a lattice, and then A. This statement A is given. What is A? X meet Y join X meet Z. X meet Y join X meet Z. Is equal to x meet y join x meet z if and only if b statement x is greater than or equal to z 
implies x is greater than equal to z implies what x meet y join z x meet y join z is less than or equal to is equal to equal to x join meet x meet y join z so if you see this statement carefully it is like first left hand side in that x meet y join x meet z is like right side x meet z then we are taking with y then we are taking with x meet are you following so if you see here this much part x meet z then that you take with y is that clear then you take with meet x that means this bracket is allowed to come here and then here is same as then you see here x meet y join z is same as you take y join z then take with meet is this clear in distributivity it is not true but here in this it is case is what this brackets can be changed without using that means x meet z then this bracket if you bring it here then x meet z join y then meet with x these two are same if and only if whenever your x is greater than or equal to z if this one is bigger okay then <coughs> this bracket can be interchanged that means you take x meet y then join with z is same as you take y join z then meet with x is this clear so it is, if you observe these two statements what we have changed is this parenthesis without changing this one are you following that means x meet y and z you have taken first meet then join with z is same as you take these two join and meet so this just to understand can we uh, rearrange this parenthesis is the question are you following so this one and this one what is the difference instead of writing this can we write like this are you following that means this parenthesis can we change without changing the value and that is possible with that is the result about statement about this theorem are you following yeah it is not distributive see usually if something is like distributive then it is like this this one is what x meet y join z are you following right this is if at all it is it is not distributive property no it is not part of the see this, this side it is different yes yeah that one side one side is can we ch change the position of this parenthesis are you following here we are taking x meet y and here we are taking x meet y join z are you following so if you observe these two that is what i am saying these two relations is about when can we change this parenthesis without changing this join and meet are you following one side is this x meet y join z okay so just consider this here also x meet y join z and here what we have is this one and here what we have is this when this is allowed under these statements this is true. is this clear suppose if this is true such that if whenever x is less than or x is greater than or equal to z satisfying this condition then this is also true and whenever it is true then for any x greater than or equal to z this statement is true. are you following so little if you want to understand this statement is all about when you can change the positions of this parenthesis are you following nothing only relation is that x and z because what you are trying to take here is this if you take x greater than or equal to y or z then this x y z values will change okay so if you like if you take x y z if this one is greater than this you have here okay if you change the role of y x y z you can write Now proof of this statement. Uh, first, if uh, it is if and only if statement, then uh, 
we uh, we can prove by assuming one is true and proving second one and another way is uh, converse part if b is true and a is e a we can prove then first one assume a is true and uh, x is greater than z then uh, x is greater than z then x uh, what is x meet z x is greater than x meet z is i think z so by using a x meet y join with x meet z uh, Yeah, first write that first statement right e huh. x meet y meet join x meet z is equal to x meet y join x meet z but because x is greater than or equal to z wherever x meet z is same as z on z x meet y join z, z is equal to x meet y join z here from it is b So from A, we will prove uh, we have we had proved B one. And now we assume B is true and prove sec, uh, A one. Here is that one. That that side you why you keep that keep on. Right there, B implies A. Uh, B implies A. now uh, x one second so uh, when is one second if you want to apply b what you require you want x y z satisfying condition that x is greater than or equal to z, z. so we will tell it select suitable x y z in such a way that x is greater than or equal to z is this clear hmm. yes so we will take x is greater than x uh, joins x meet z we now, know that we know we know that X is greater than or equal to x, x meet, meet z. Z. Now by applying b to uh, x, uh, here x is less, uh, greater than or equal to z. Here x is greater than x greater than or equal to x meet z. That means our z yes is x meet z. Is this clear? Therefore, by applying b x meet y join what is z? X meet z. X meet z is equal to x meet y join z is x z is x, x meet z this is our first one this uh, one more bracket uh, yes and that is what exactly we have to prove is this clear are you following is, is if it? not clear i'll explain b implies a we want to prove that means assume b okay and we are supposed to prove a So to apply B, we require one x, y, z such that x is greater than or equal to z. So here we are applying. Huh. So we are applying B for x is same as x, okay, and y is like y. But z, what we are taking, if you want, you write like this, okay. And z, we are taking as x meet z. Is this clear? So we are applying x prime, y prime, z prime. This third one. You can check that x prime and z prime. What we know about x prime and z prime? Because it is x and it is x meet z. We know x prime is greater than or equal to z. So by this b, what we have? This x prime meet y prime join z is join z prime is same as x prime meet y prime join z. But now what are all our x prime, y prime, z prime? is same as x meet y join z prime is z prime is x meet z this is equal to this is x meet y join x meet z is this clear but this is precisely this b a so we have assumed b then we prove a hari phale so simply we have applied suitable x y z to this b and only z is x meet z okay any any problem no <coughs> whether i write it in notes as it is or not you have to understand 
same lecture if I give next time I may change notation right but concept is same. Uh, you, you erase that lemma. So whatever this lemma just now we proved if any lattice satisfies this it is called what? Modular, Modular lattice, lattice right that is the definition. Uh, now we can we will define the distributive lattice and modular lattice. Mm, first one distributive lattice. A lattice L is called distributive if In first lemma, we will uh, see th three properties uh, which are distributive uh, inequalities. That inequalities, if hold, then in lattice, then that lattice is called as distributive lattice. Uh, what is that property? X meet Y join Z is, uh, I think, equal. Equal. X meet Y join X meet Z. And the equivalent statements are. Uh, the equivalent statements with respect to join x join y meet z is equal to x join y meet x join x join z this also is true then uh, the like right duality is this is true right or even you no need to write equality uh, even one side if it is true then also we say it is distributed. Is this clear? Because for every lattice, the first lemma what we prove is this left hand side is always less than or equal to that right hand side. Are you following? So if at all it is distributive means what? The other side if it is true, we say it is distributive. So you write R, R it is same as X. X join Y meet Z is less than equal to X join Y meet Z. Okay. Or any one of this that I, one side of those two are identities, right? For that I'll say you can take one inequality. Okay. Yes. Now modular lattice. In similar manner, a lattice is called modular. If x meet y <coughs> join x meet z is equal to x meet y join x meet z by previous lemma or it is a statement a if you if you remember it is a statement a and what is the statement b x is greater than or equal to z which implies uh, x meet y join z is equal to x meet y uh, join z. If this statement is also true then it is also modular. Okay. So in, uh, in, uh, in if you want to understand modular lattice means parenthesis can be Exchange. interchanged. Okay. Without changing join and meet. Are you following? Hmm. Whereas in distributive you will see one side you have less number and other side you have more variable right but in modular number of x y z left side right side both are same only parentheses are position of parentheses are changed are you following now lemma every distributive lattice lattice is modular from what but why if uh, in every distributive lattice this condition is satisfies this and this if in this condition we will take x is greater than equal to z then go go slow we prove that if some lattice is distributive then it is modular okay so we take a lattice which is distributive then we will prove that it is modular 
to prove that we prove second condition that means start with x greater than or equal to z uh, take x greater than or equal to z uh, proof l is distributive let us now if l is distributive let us this uh, then l satisfies this condition for uh, any x y z belongs to l uh, x meet y join z is equal to x meet y join x meet z then by taking by applying the condition that x is greater than equal to z then so we are proving second proper uh, this conditions. becomes of modular lattice definition okay that means in second whenever x is greater than or equal to z we want to prove that identity yes or no but if x greater than or equal to z what is this identity will become is same as that right yeah. if x greater than or equal to z x meet huh. y join z is equal to x meet y join z. meet mm. you z. are written you are written you write that as join last one sorry mm. join. and that is because precisely what, what we want to prove. x meet z is equal to z by this relation therefore it is modular okay because I, uh, is it clear we are simply because we interchange the brackets and then from this we can going to this also because we have proved all, uh, already by a previous lemma okay it is uh, it is clear anything else problem or anything no and thank you who is next class you are so you are going to discuss modular but not distributive right examples oh, please